How does the Renogy 400 watt solar panel briefcase compare to the all power solar panel briefcase that's also 400 watts? Today, I'm gonna to put these two to the test. We'll talk about everything from their pricing, specs and features, build quality, and of course, we will actually test how, how much power these both pull in real world scenarios such as this. So if you're like me and you're in the market for a solar briefcase for the portability, whether you're living off the grid, you're using them for an RV solution, or if you're using it just for your overall power solution, whatever the case may be, 400 watts is kind of a lot for a setup such as this. And I'm, gonna, I'm using them for all kinds of electronics, my camera batteries, um, computer, things like that, my refrigerator. And now that I'm using them for an RV, I'm gonna use the solar briefcase as a way to kind of follow the sun throughout the day while having some rigid panels mounted on top as well. But really depending on your power needs, one of these briefcases might do the job for you. Starting off with some of the specs and features of these two panels and how they differ. The Renogy is made of a fiberglass and aluminum build. It comes in at around 30.2 pounds and compared to the All Power, which comes in at around 30.4 pounds. So the Renogy is slightly lighter. It does have these aluminum stands as well, as opposed to the All Power, which has these kind of, I'm gonna call them flimsy. I'm gonna call them what they are. They are flimsy flip out stands. Both of these briefcase panels report to have around 23% efficiency, which theoretically is very good. And what that means is that 23% of the sunlight that hits the panels is actually turned into energy. Um, and then the rest is either turned into heat or reflected back. I just learned that today, by the way. <laughs> The Renogy does have a five-year warranty, while the All Power has a three-year warranty, so that gives the Renogy the edge. And talking about the price, this is going to be a major one. I'm gonna take out my phone for this because the prices fluctuate so much, but in general, the Renogy is always going to be more uh, expensive because it is a more reputable brand. Currently, as of filming this, the Renogy panel is going for 470, which is slightly lower than usual, and the All Power is at $350, so over $100 less. Um, I actually got the Renogy briefcase on Prime Day for around $363, so more than $100 less than it usually goes for, and the All Power for $314. It's also worth noting that the cases are very different between these two, whereas the Renogy has a separate case to put it inside, while the All Power, the case is actually integrated in, basically it folds in on itself, and this panel is the case. What I do really appreciate about the All Power setup is that it came with adapters with it um, from the Anderson to XT60 and also to DC as well. And can't say the same about the Renogy. The first time I took the Renogy out, I actually took it on a camping trip and I completely, I just assumed, because previous briefcases that I've purchased came with Anderson to XT60 cables. So I kind of assumed, which was a Dumb assumption in retrospect, and I wasn't able to even use it that camping weekend, which was really disappointing. So it is nice that the All Power does come with it. Um, although it is relatively short, the included cable. So either way, one would probably have to purchase a separate extender or a separate XT60 to solar. Moving on to the build quality, the Renogy definitely seems of higher quality, and I believe that it is. But because of that fiber class design, I would be a little bit concerned to really rough this up if you were leaving it in like the back of your truck or something like that. Um, I would be nervous about it cracking in certain areas, but what is also concerning about the All Power is that when you're setting it up, your hands do tend to go on here when you're kind of moving things around, and I would be nervous about kind of cracking any of these cells during setup. So both of them have their imperfections for sure, but I do appreciate the sturdiness more of the Renogy build. The Renogy briefcase also seems a bit smaller. Yes, it is lighter, just slightly, and it does appear smaller as well. However, I feel like the shape is much more awkward than the all power shape. This is getting a little nitpicky here, but for some reason I prefer the rectangular design. I feel like you can slide it into more places, whereas a square design is much more awkward in my opinion. It will fit in fewer areas, already putting into my Jeep. In the back of the Jeep, it has a hard time fitting in there. And I feel like if you were putting it into a pickup truck and you had to stand it up, it might be a little bit more difficult. You probably have to tilt it on an angle or lay it flat. Whereas a rectangular design is much more easy to slide into so many different areas. And I know that might seem a little nitpicky, but in reality, it does make a difference in just portability overall. 
The other thing is the case, I really can appreciate that the case and the cabling is all integrated because I don't have to have a separate case like I have to have for the Renogy, which is really great. When it comes to the kickstands, they're both kind of terrible in my opinion, but the Renogy is clearly significantly better than the All Power. I do wish that there was a way to extend these out because then I would be able to get different angles with the Renogy. And same thing for these, I wish I was able to get different angles throughout the day. So neither are perfect and I have critiques of both, but the Renogy definitely wins here. When it comes to setup time and just ease of use, the Renogy definitely wins here. I know I was talking about the case for the Renogy taking up a little bit of extra time, but overall folding out these panels because they are rigid is so much easier. Plus you get these handles on the top that I really appreciate because then you don't have to put your hands on the solar cells and potentially damage them. Overall having rigid panels definitely makes the ease of setting up so much better for the Renogy. All right, so now I've got both of the panels side by side and I'm gonna do a little bit of a real world test here. I thought about laying them flat to have them exactly the same because as you can see, the tilt of these two are a little bit different, which could skew the test results. But at the same time, they are meant to be mounted in this position from the manufacturers. So I don't wanna mess with the test in that way. For the input device, I'm using the Delta II Max from EcoFlow to actually test these. It has a built-in MPPT charge controller, so that's what I'm gonna be using for each of these. And then I'm gonna run about five tests on each of them to compare just the average against each other. Right now, I'm waiting for a cloud to move, and we're gonna get going. 700 watts between the both of these. So it's the perfect time to test both of them. All right, so all power is on the left. Let's start with that. So just from the all power, we're pulling in around 250 right now, 300. Now I'm plugging in the Renogy. Immediately 341. And it's just sitting at 340, not even changing. Let's go back to the all power. 290. Back to the Renogy. Immediately it <laughs> is at 325. Let's go back to the all power. Man, it's hot out today. Your boy is cooking. Sitting at 286. Back to the Renogy. 322. All power. 280. Renogy. Smidge lower this time. 317. All right, now I want to try laying them both flat just to see what that comparison would look like. 314 on the Renogy, flat. Switching to the all power. Let's go flat. 283, 282. So roughly the same results. A cloud just came over and the all power is pulling 50 watts and the Renogy is also pulling 50 watts. All right, for the shading test, let's start with Renogy. So right now we are pulling 300 watts. That dropped it down to 257. All right, switching to the all power, 278, and then now similar corner here down to 219. So roughly the a similar um, change. Maybe the Renogy was a little bit more drastic, but it was pulling more energy overall. So now that we've properly put these two briefcases to the test, which one is the winner? And I have to say, it really comes down to what is most important to you. If you're looking to save a little money, then the All Power is going to be the best bet. And also, if you appreciate the more rectangular design, meaning that it probably could fit in more unique areas, then the All Power is the way to go. But if you want something that clearly has better performance, is a little bit easier to set up and rigidity, but a slightly awkward design, certainly more expensive, but a five-year warranty and a more reputable company than the Renogy 400 watt briefcase is the way to go. As for me, I'm gonna hold on to both of these panels and test them out over the next few years. Of course, then again, there probably will be something completely new out by that time, maybe an 800 watt solar briefcase, who knows? 
This tech is always constantly changing, especially in recent years. If you're interested in either of these briefcases, I'm gonna leave links to them in the description down below. Those are affiliate links, so they do help the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. But let me know in the comments below, are you team Renengy or all power, or are you running an entirely different solar panel briefcase? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all out there on the road.